I often talk about how it's almost magical to be in the same site and see the same sites as some historical figure from the past. How an essence of who they were and what they did remains tied into the physical site. And how this essence can influence those who have an affinity and an inclination to whatever that essence is. A perfect example of this is the Cortez Hotel. I'll tell you a personal story, a very personal story. When we got to the United States in 1986, I was just a kid, I was about five years old, and we used to walk around the plaza downtown. I would be at awe of this building. The faces, the architecture, the beauty of it was just grandiose to me. I remember at the time, five years old, I used to tell my mom, someday I'm gonna make a book of pictures with all these buildings in it. That decision altered the rest of my life. Ultimately, about 20 years later, it led me to, be, to me being a photographer, which led me to being on TV, which led me to be being in front of you right now. That is the magical part. That is the synchronicity. You see behind me was El Paso's first photography studio. In 1881, Francis W. Parker purchased the lot and built a wooden shack, a wooden shack that he would later turn into his photography studio. Four years later, only four years later, and this is what happens when you support your local photographers, he expanded it and built a hotel there. From 1885 to 1886, the hotel known as the Parker House was demolished and a new hotel was erected at the same site. In May of 1886, a Mr. S. Lipsinger leased the new hotel and and named it the Vendome. In 1899, Alcina de Groff, a legend in the hotel business, acquired the Vendome and renamed it the Hotel Orndorff after her first husband. The Orndorff officially opened in 1901, offering rooms for 50 cents for a single and $1 for a double, with board and three daily meals costing $30 a month, and a fourth story was added to the building in 1902. In 1924 and 25, the Graf demolished the Orndorff and hired architect Henry C. Trost to design a new hotel. The new Orndorff Hotel, a Spanish Renaissance revival structure, was completed in 1926 at the cost of 1.4 million. Unfortunately, Ms. De Groff did not live to see the completion of the building and in 1927, it was sold to the Haussmann Hotel Company and became the Hotel Haussmann. They expanded it further, adding 300 rooms, a convention hall, and a dining facility for $700,000. In 1935, it was renamed the Hotel Cortez after a contest. The Hotel Cortez is an 11-story building with 12 bays facing Mesa Street, 10 facing Mill Street. The entrance on Mesa Street features an impressive five-story cast relief portal with ornament windows. The architectural style is of Spanish colonial revival. It was popular in the 1920s. This style blended elements of Renaissance, Moorish, and Baroque designs, incorporating many references to Spanish and Spanish-American heritage. The exterior features portrait heads of conquistadores adorning the front entrance, further enhancing the Spanish colonial aesthetic. The Cortes has remained a landmark hosting many celebrities and dignitaries, including President John F. Kennedy in 1963. He actually drove to the front of the hotel in the same 1961 Lincoln Continental he rode in Dallas less than six months after. He was supposed to dash straight from the Continental into the front door, but he lingered in the sidewalk and shook people's hands. The hotel closed in February 1970 after 44 years. In 1972, a fire damaged the structure Major renovations occurred in the early 1980s, restoring the first 10 floors to the original splendor. 